In this video, you will see how to configure and upload your first app. You'll need a Yandex account to publish your game. Log in or sign up. Enter a developer name. It will be displayed on pages with your games. It should not contain an email, links to outside resources, or any level of domain indicator. Click the button to add your app. Read and accept the license agreement. Next, you'll see a form. Fill everything in with information about the game. First, select the languages your game will support. The three default languages are Russian, English, and Turkish. If your game only supports English, exclude the other languages. In the upper part of the page, you'll see a feature meter. It will show you how far along the process you are. We'll take a deeper look at it in later videos. Here's first tip before filling out the form. Use the prompts to fill out the fields, and don't forget to save your changes. If a text field is outlined in red after you filled it out, it did not pass validation. If it's outlined in black, you're good to go. Select whether your game is translated into Russian. The rest of the fields must be filled out for each language your game supports. Fill out the name description for SEO in the about the game field. Briefly describe the game in a way that will pique users' interest. Explain its mechanics. Specify the game version. Check up to two categories from the list that describe the game. Select tags from the list that match your game. You can use as many tags as you want. Enter keywords separated by commas that players can use to find your game in Yandex search. Next, you'll need to upload an icon, a cover, and promotional materials. Let's take a look at how and where all of that will be displayed, as that will play a role in how you place your creative content and images. Game covers are displayed on the main catalog page. The game icon and promo materials are displayed in the card. The game's icon will be displayed in the Yandex Games catalog and advertising materials. The aspect ratio is 1 to 1. The maximum size is 10 megabytes. The format is PNG. The resolution is 512 by 512 pixels. Now upload the game cover. Everything's simpler here. Upload a PNG image that's exactly 800 by 470 pixels. Promo materials go in the game's catalog and other entry points to attract more attention to your game. Promo materials let you grab player interests by showing off what's great and unique about your gameplay. Find a good balance between length and level of detail, making sure you don't overwhelm users. Depending on the supported platform, your game's promo must be uploaded in one of three formats. Vertical video, horizontal video, or GIF animation. Maximum video length, 30 seconds. Video format, MP4. Minimum video height, 400 pixels. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9 for horizontal and 9 by 16 for vertical. The maximum GIF size is 600 kilobytes. Upload a zip archive with your game. You can have versions for all the platforms and languages you support in a single archive. There should be an index HTML file at the root of the archive. The maximum archive size is 100 megabytes. Hit save, then refresh the page. After that, a link with the text, file verified, will appear. That's the link to your game. File verification can take several minutes, so don't worry if the text doesn't appear right away. The next step will be uploading an image with instructions for your game. The instructions are on the game card, to the right of the promo materials. You'll need at least two images with instructions for the mobile and desktop versions of your game. The formatting requirements depend on the platform. Mobile, portrait or album orientation. The aspect ratio for album orientation is 16 by 9 while it's 9 by 16 for portrait orientation. Size, 1280 to 2560 pixels on the long side. JPEG format or 24-bit PNG without alpha channel. We don't recommend mixing formats or image orientations. Desktop, only an album orientation. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Image size, 1280 to 2560 pixels on the long side. JPEG format or 24-bit PNG without alpha channel. Next, set an age group rating for your game. There are detailed suggestions in the console for selecting the right age limit for your game. Select the platform your game supports, desktop, Android mobile, or iOS in any browser. That selection is used to automatically filter games in the Yandex Games catalog. For example, if a user selects only Android, they won't see iOS game versions. Games for mobile devices, especially Android ones, get the most traffic, 
so we recommend making them. The game orientation function determines the mode the game will work in on the player's device. Set up the game orientation for mobile devices, portrait, album, or any. If you select only portrait orientation, for example, rotate your screen, message will be displayed in album orientation. Check the permission boxes to make your game accessible to players outside Russia and distribute it on the international market. The next step is about your game's offline mode. If your game uses Service Worker, check the box. If your game supports authorization and leaderboards, check that box. The next step is about cloud storage. If that's something you use, select this option too. Before you finish, add add videos to promote your game. There's no limit to the number of videos you can upload, but they must comply with the size and format requirements. The Yandex algorithms will select the best video. Hit save, and the game draft will be saved with the status created.